We're taking candy from a baby! This is going to get us into his good books! I just know it! We're sure to get a big reward! Hey! What do you think you're doing? That orb belongs to us. Get your filthy hands off it. <laughs> Whoever you are, you've just made a seriously big mistake! Amateurs. But who the hell were they? And what did they want with the orb? Well, whatever. It's back with its rightful owner now. And about time, too. You know, after they threw me in jail, I thought I'd never see this thing again. But here I am holding it. You're some kind of lucky charm, you know that? I've got a feeling that if I stick with you, everything will turn out okay. Just don't ask me what I mean by everything. That's my business. Right, I've done what I came to do. Guess we should head east and check out that door of departure place your grandpa mentioned.
Did you really think you would escape me, Dark Spawn? Damn it, they found us. Well, don't just stand there. Come on.
the keystone. One, the game has not even begun. Oh. Whew. We made it. That was too close. So, uh, where exactly are we? I don't recognize this place at all. <laughs> Two travelers come. Their timing is auspicious as the day's new dawn. My bathhouse awaits. Savor its steamy embrace as frogs do spring rain. Rejoice, honored guests, for to mark this happy day, you may sweat for free. Um, we're kind of busy to be sweating. Thanks. Appreciate the offer, though. Too busy to bathe? Too busy to wash away the scent of the road? Huh? <laughs> okay, maybe I'm not at my freshest. Fine, I'll visit your bathhouse if it means that much to you. Might as well go sweat off the journey while we have the chance. I'll see you in there, okay? The winds bring a guest. Joyfully, I shall guide him to where bliss awaits. out of bars. I told you I need to speak to the owner. It's important. He might know where my little sister is. A child in a bar is like a fish in a tree. You must search elsewhere. Oh, fine. If you're going to be a complete pighead about it, I'll go and ask the guards by the gate instead. <laughs>
what do we have here? Well, are you going to tell me your name or not? Hmm, could be worse, I suppose. Listen, you and I need to talk, but my little sister is missing, so I have to go and find her first. I never thought I'd finally meet you in a place like this. It's funny how things work out. I was wondering where you'd got to. Come join me. This turned out to be a pretty good idea. We've got the place to ourselves, so we may as well enjoy it. We've earned a little break, wouldn't you say? Can't take it easy for too long, though. Sooner or later, those creeps are going to catch up with us. So, you've been scoping out the town, huh? See anything interesting? Ah, her? Yeah, she was sniffing round here too. She's way too young to be hanging round in bars though. No wonder they kicked her out. I don't envy her having a kid sister to run around after. They have a habit of causing headaches. Did you just say something? Where are you? Where did you go? Uh, huh? I is that a g g You scared us there for a second. What are you doing in here? I was waiting in the end. You, you said you were going to take, take a bath, but, but you never came back. <laughs> Where did you go? Why, why did you leave me? Sounds like she's lost someone. <gasps> Wait. 
This must be the girl whose big sister's looking for her. Why don't we see what we can do to help? How about you dry your eyes and tell us your name, kid? Uh, uh, I'm Connie. Nice to meet you, Connie. Why don't you come with us and we'll help you find whoever it is you're looking for. Me, you little simple girl. Question. I'm have telling you, you I haven't seen not? your sister. Well, well, what do you know? Looks like she's picking fights with grown ups again. <sighs> hmm. I wish they told me they only let complete pigheads live in this stupid town before I bothered coming here. Hey kid, good news. We found your sister. Why so shy? Aren't you pleased to see your big sis? She's... Huh? I don't know why you're looking so pleased with yourself. That's not my sister. I've never seen this girl before in my life. I don't have any brothers or sisters. I've lost my daddy. Gosh, where do I start? Did you not think of, I don't know, maybe asking her who she was looking for instead of jumping to idiotic conclusions? Listen, short stuff. I'm not gonna let a little brat like you speak to me like that. <sighs> I hate to point this out, but you don't have time to be standing there getting your knickers in a twist. You've got a daddy to find. Listen, I want to talk to the owner of that bar, but I can't get in there on my own. Can I come with you? Thanks. I'll never get in there otherwise. You're a lifesaver. I'm Veronica, by the way. Right, let's get going, shall we? I'll look after this little one. Don't worry. You don't have to rely on these two dunderheads anymore. We'll find your daddy in no time. You'll see. Thank you. Kids these days, huh? No respect for their elders. Well, looks like we don't have much choice. Let's hit the bar.
Welcome to our inn, a safe haven in life's storm. Come and make merry. Huh? Huh? Warnings unheeded, the fish returns to the tree. What can deter her? She's with us. Do you have a problem with that? Understanding dawns. The fish has a chaperone. She.